Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Strider. First, let's listen to some audio of what Strider may sound like. Now, how do you know that you're hearing Strider? Well, you want to pay attention to a few things. First thing is timing. Strider can be heard on inspiration or expiration, and it's going to have a high pitch. In addition, it's going to be continuous and located mainly in the upper respiratory system, like the trachea slash throat area. And it's going to have a defining auditory characteristic that you really can't ignore. It's going to sound like this screeching, squawking noise that's coming mainly from that throat area. So again, let's listen to this audio of Strider. So what causes this sound? Well, it's occurring because there's narrowing of the larynx and the trachea from swelling due to some type of infection or blockage from an object. And it can actually progress where that airway will be completely blocked off. Therefore, some cases of Strider are life-threatening and require immediate attention. So it depends on the severity of the Strider, how severe does it sound, and what is actually causing it. Now, Strider can be caused by cases of epiglottitis or croup, where you may hear it referred to as a barking cough in the pediatric population. It can also be caused in cases of anaphylaxis or if there is an object stuck in this throat region. Okay, so that wraps up this review on Strider. And if you'd like to watch more videos in this respiratory series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.